Hello students, in this video we will be learning about Transaction Processing Systems or TPS. We will be learning the basic concept what is a TPS and we will also see some examples from the real world, the companies and the organizations that are actually utilizing and implementing Transaction Processing Systems. So starting with the basic understanding of what a TPS is. A transaction processing system is basically a system that manages or processes the transactions that are happening on a day-to-day -day basis in an organization. So when I say transaction, a transaction is any give and take that involves two parties, two or more parties, such that all the parties are satisfied, they have some product or service at the end and each of once some of them give the input for the transaction and some of them get the output for the transaction okay so for example if you are going to a shopping mall then you present your money and the other side gives you the product so that is a transaction that is happening so a transaction processing system basically ensures that all such organizational or business transactions are correctly completed they are done in a timely manner and the uh, these transactions are also stored for future reference. If it is required for analysis purposes, then these transactions would be retrieved back from the database of the transaction processing system. So in the database of a TPS, the transactions are stored. The information that allow the transactions to happen are also stored. For example, in a mall, when you go and uh, tell the person at the counter that I want to buy this or purchase this product then the person simply scans the barcode of the product he he or she no longer enters the entire details of the product the price the uh, other details that are required for billing so the transaction processing system has a database that is already mapping the barcodes to the required information and as soon as the barcode is scanned the price of the product comes up the related discount comes up and when that transaction is complete, this entire transaction for each customer will also be stored in the database of the TPS. So in different scenarios, there can be different inputs to a transaction processing system. For example, you can give your cash, you can give money to buy or purchase a product or a service. You can have, you can present an invoice to get a product. Then you can also uh, give orders so that you get the uh, service given to you and then there are outputs involved which again include receipts bills reports etc so cash can be termed as an input also when you are paying for a product or a service but in case of an atm where you are doing a financial transaction the cash is the output and the input is the debit card that you're presenting okay so coming to real world examples of transaction processing system. So uh, one thing I would like to clear is that there is a slight and thin line difference between what an example is and what an application is. So the uh, concept of transaction processing system, when we apply to different application areas, different domains, then they are applications of TPS. For example, a TPS can be used in banks, it can be used in airlines, it can be used in malls. These are application areas. But when we say the real world examples, then we actually name the TPS that is being implemented in a particular domain or application area. So this is an example of a transaction action processing system implemented by IBM for airline management and this its name is airline control system v2 basically it allows processing and storage of information and transactions for industries that generate high um, uh, high number of transactions and they require real time processing of data so it allows reliable performance correct transactions and quick retrieval of information as and when required. The next example for a TPS is for hotel industry. So Muse is a hotel payment processing system that allows any kind of hotel that is 
accepting that is using this TPS to manage the bookings, the food services, any other services that are required by the customers and to do this in a secure manner, fast manner and automatic manner. Different kinds of payments are allowed, different modes of payments are allowed and upgradation or downgrade of products and services are also allowed. So Muse is one TPS that is implemented for the hotel domains. Okay. The next TPS transaction processing system is for the banks that has been implemented by the RISCO software solutions and it allows banks to make or uh, enable customers to undergo financial transactions whether it is in terms of cash management, check management, passbooks and any other services that are provided by the bank. So it allows the bank to process its transactions that happen on a daily basis to control the transactions in such a way that two simultaneous transactions do not lead to misuse of information or incorrect information being given to the customer. Okay. The next example comes for from the finance industry again, which is for the ATM machines. Okay. So that is automatic automated transaction delivery system has been in implemented to allow the transactions for uh, the people who want to utilize ATM machines. So you present your cards respectively, the cash is withdrawn. So such transaction processing systems allow the ATM services to go ahead to be provided without any hassles in a quick manner in a real time basis. So at the same time, when the transaction is happening, the amount is also getting updated from uh, for the customer's account and the cash is being given. It is being updated in the bank transaction database as well. So all this has to take place on a timely and correct manner that is enabled by one of the TPS for ATM which is automated transaction delivery system. Okay. The last example comes from the restaurant industry where we have a urban piper transaction processing system which allows online as well as offline management of the restaurant and this can be taken up or adopted by the restaurant owners so that they can manage the table booking, the orders and delivery services in a real time manner, automated manner. And they can also store such transaction records so that they can do further analysis for their growth in future. So that's all for today's video. I hope you have understood the topic of transaction processing system and the real world examples for the same. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.